So if you get a system of, uh, of equations and you need to assess that for either having a unique solution, infinitely many solutions, or no solutions, if it's an inconsistent system, there's a nice way with MATLAB to quickly assess this and then very importantly also to get a general solution for underdetermined systems. So I found a nice way that I'd like to share. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start off with a system of equations that is inconsistent. So a very easy way to assess that. I will always start, I will suggest uh, creating the augmented matrix. So C equals, you use your coefficient matrix A and add the the, cof uh, the, the, the constants. So if, you've get, if you get your uh, co augmented matrix, then you reduce it to the reduced row echelon form, C equals RREF C, and that will immediately give you an idea of what is going on. So immediately you can see this is an uh, inconsistent system, because 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals 1, it's inconsistent, there's no solution to this. Of course, with the least squares method, you can get the best approximation for the system. So how do you assess this? So we can start off with if the rank of A is not equal to the rank of C. You just display inconsistent system. So you can still get your, your best approximation using the least uh, squares method. Okay, so this should show us that this is an inconsistent system. The rank of A is not the same as the rank of C. So that's our starting point. Okay, now if we change this to minus 1, suddenly we've got a unique solution. So looking at the reduced row echelon form, x equals 3, y equals 8 over 7, and z equals minus 10 over 7. To get everything in rational form, I use the format rat for rational. So this just makes it look more textbooky. Okay, all right, so this is a unique solution. And how do we find that? We're just going to say if, else if, the rank of A is equal to the rank of C. No, uh, um, sorry, um, um, if the rank of A is the same as the free variables, obviously it's going to be the same as C. So let's say N is the size of A. So it's going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. So if the rank is the same as the amount of variables, which is going to be N2, you're simply going to display unique solution. And the answer is simply x equals a almost divided by it's the Gaussian solution for finding the answer, um, which should agree with our reduced row echelon form. So we've got a unique solution. This will be our x, y, and z value for this system. So that's easy. Now if we change it up again, 1, 2, 3, 0, 3, 1, let's make this 1, 14, 7. And then I'm going to make this 3 and 13. Now see what happens to our reduced row echelon form. You get a row of zeros at the bottom. So this shows us that this has infinitely many solutions and you've got a free variable. So to get the, the, the general solution to this underdetermined system of, of equations, we're going to have to use a parameter and we're going to also use the null space. So that is not very difficult. So all we need to do now is, again, the third condition, else if the rank of A is less than the variables, we can display infinitely many solutions. And then our free variables will be, let's f print f, free variables, uh, integer, new line is going to be the absolute value of the rank of A minus the amount of variables. Let's see if that shows. Okay, so we're going to have one free variable. 
So if you look at the solution here, you're going to need x equals minus 1, and then you bring this over minus 7 over 3z. And y equals 1 minus a third z. Okay, so how can we work that out? So we're going to start off with a general solution here. We're going to create our parameter. So we're going to say z is equal to s, and s equals anything, because there's infinitely many solutions. But let's start off with what if z is 1? Or our parameter then is 1. So we need to get our null space equals the null space of a. And I'm going to also do this in a rational form. So this is the null space. And, the, and um, so what we also need is our principal vector. And in the reduced row echelon form, these, or this column is actually our um, principal vector. So we'll call that VP equals C. And the last column will be N2 which is the amount of variables in A plus 1. So let's just see if that is correct. And there's our principal vector. OK. So our general solution then will be in the form x, say general, equals the principal vector plus the null space times our parameter, which is the z value. Okay, so if z equals 0, we should be getting our principal vector. So let's start off with 0 and just see what happens. Then the general solution is the same as our principal vector. Okay, but if it is 1 and you run it, then you'll see that um, minus 1 minus 7 over 3 will give you the minus 10 over 3 and 1 minus a third will give you 2 thirds and obviously z is 1 because that is the free variable that we chose. Okay, but just very quickly now can you use this for two free variables with a very small change in the program? Of course you can. So let's make this 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6. We're going to make all of these columns just uh, integer multiples of each other. So uh, 2, 4, 6, and 3, 6, 9, and 1, 2, 3. Okay. So now if you look, we've got two free variables, but that, me that means we just need to add another parameter. So I'm going to add parameter t equals Let's start off with 0, 0. So once again, our principal vector will be 1, 0, 0. So if y equals 0, which is our s value, and z equals 0, which is our t value, then we should be getting 1, 0, 0. OK. Um, now for the general solution, we're, all we're going to change here is that we need to add our second parameter, t. Um, I'm, oh, this is 10, and not 0. Sorry about that. OK, so this is exactly what we're getting if both our parameters are 0. So if we change this now to maybe um, minus 1 and minus 2, this is what we expect our solution to be. So that is if you've got two parameters, of course you can get three parameters, four parameters, it doesn't matter. This is your general solution, and these two are your parameters for y and z, and you can just extend it for as many free variables as you need.